Hello Pisces, we're getting ready to do your reading. Let's take a look and see what the overall energy is for Pisces in love. Let's see, we have smoke and mirrors. I had the same one for Scorpio. Interesting, okay. We also have uncharted sea. So you're about to be involved in a relationship that is unlike any other and close encounters of the butterfly kind. Ooh, that has a little Scorpio edge to it, I think. All right, so we're gonna do three shuffles here with the traditional light seers tarot. We'll cut the deck. I just wanna welcome everybody who is uh, visiting the channel for the first time and welcome back my beautiful subscribers. Thank you so much. So happy to have you here. Hope everyone's doing well. All right, so let's see. The energy at the bottom of the deck, Justice card, looking for balance. That is also Libra energy, and it is seventh house. It's all about relationships and partnerships of all sorts. Okay, oh, look at that. So a lot of concern about equal give and take. Okay, so the energy in the recent past for you and your lover score, excuse me, Pisces, is two of swords. There's been some sort of a disagreement or something that the two of you are stumbling over two of swords is libra energy so we have libra energy two of wands both of you look at that you have your backs turned to each other you feel as though you have to make a decision both of you are feeling as though you're at a crossroads in this relationship how does your person view the relationship or the situation three of swords pisces your person feels very broken hearted. They feel as though there's interference or there's a lack of commitment. How do they view you, Pisces? The death card, Scorpio energy. Whoa. How do they feel in their heart space? The world card, time to close out what they felt was a very successful relationship. How do they view the way forward with you? They would have to throw caution to the winds. Again, though, they have their back to you. What's a mutual energy hidden between the two of you? A lot of love. Cancerian energy. Sagittarius energy, Aquarius energy. What is spirit recommending? Five of Swords. To pay attention to the fact that the two of you have some major differences. There's a lot of thorniness here. There's a lot of pain here. Spirit is saying, do not ignore the pain. It's a red flag. What's your outcome for this week? The Page of Cups. Well, it's like you're not really going to do anything. The Page of Cups is like, well, when pigs fly, we'll work this out. And, you know, but I mean, it's a sweet energy, though. It shows that you both care about each other. Your person, though, looks like you're, um, they're very brokenhearted. This is a very challenging reading. Okay, so we're going to clarify, though, and see what's going on. Why is a justice card here? What needs to be balanced or what contracts or agreements are at play here in this reading? What is being scrutinized at this time for our, our Pisces friends? What is being scrutinized? Whether to take, take the leap of faith and start something new if you can't balance the relationship. Four of Swords, healing. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Two of Swords. There's been some significant disagreement at the heart of this relationship. The Two of Swords, why is it here? The Chariot card. Well, you could have a disagreement about buying a car, but it also is where you call home. You know, the chariot card could be one of you would like to move and the other one wouldn't. But I'm getting that you have no agreement on this. I get also that you're talked out. It does, you know, we're seeing how much you love each other. You really do. But you're at this impasse in the relationship in the recent past. You have a big disagreement about the relationship or the, the direction of the relationship and what that means in your life at this time. So the crossroads, tell us about the crossroads that our Pisces couple is having. Ten of coins, so you both want a legacy relationship with an abundant income, wealth, 
health, all good things. So you're trying to make a decision as a couple about how to get your legacy abundant relationship. Two of coins, you're uncertain about maybe what job to take, what direction to go in. It looks like you're juggling money right now and it looks as though that's a painful thing for the two of you. Seven of Swords says that there's some dishonesty about money or there's some dishonesty that one person is bringing in to the situation, but somehow you're keeping how you really feel from each other. So according to this, you're both being somewhat dishonest. You're, what are you being dishonest about? Eight of Cups walking away. It's almost like you're in the you know you're in the process of breaking up, but you don't want to you know do it. The Five of Swords, lots of pain. Five of Swords, Five of Swords, very painful. Okay, why does your person feel broken hearted? Why do they feel as though they are not numero uno? Six of Cups, your soulmate. You've been together a long time. They know you really well, Pisces. Your person knows you well. They feel like they have to defend themselves. They have to defend their turf. They have to defend the relationship. Tell us what else, Eight of Wands. Your person still wants you. So your person still has a passionate desire to have a new beginning with you, Pisces. They're just not sure that you're interested or you're, you're on the same page. They view you as someone that will leave the relationship. The Page of Coins is clarifying the Death card, as is the King of Coins. So I'm really seeing that I'm not getting the energy that you want out of this relationship, Pisces. I'm getting the energy that you want to move forward financially, and you just feel as though dramatic changes or a rebirth and how the two of you handle money come into play. So now we have the World card. So Pisces, you see your picture. Your person looks like they're doing well financially. Your person's very emotional, very sweet. Page of Cups, Page of Cups. So in your heart space, you know your person really cares about you. So what's the problem? Three of Cups. It looks as though you're concerned that outside influences, whether it be your partner's friends or family or anybody that they're close to, is giving them advice that they're not discussing with you. It looks like Pisces, you're very, very nervous about the fact that your person is holding, they're playing their cards close to the chest for some reason. Knight of Cups. So Pisces, you think your person is being a bit of a lightweight because it looks like your relationship is much further along. We already have the Queen of Cups here. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So let's see what, why, okay, let's look and see why your person wants to throw caution to the winds, to make a decision. The burdens are getting too heavy, Pisces. Your person is tired. They want the sun, they want the happiness. They're tired of working so hard. They've, again, two of wands energy, three times now in the reading. So your person looks like they're at a crossroads. They're gonna make a decision. What decision? Will your person make Pisces? What decision are they going to make? Strength card, okay, they have fire in their belly. Seven of coins to keep working slowly at change. The Knight of Swords, they want, they have something to tell you. Your person wants to tell you that they think that you're spending time with other people and or Pisces that you're influenced by other people. Because look at this, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the King of Cups, and we have the High Priestess. So your person, and we have the Knight of Swords, so your person really wants to rush in, Pisces, and tell you that they don't know where you're at. They want you to answer the question. Your person wants to know what you're thinking, what you're doing, what, what's the strategy you seem to be playing? Your person looks like they have some fire sign energy and that does not please them. The Queen of Cups is clarifying the Queen of Cups. You both love each other. That's not in question. Why is Spirit recommending that the two of you break up? 
Three of Swords, third party situation. Spirit is saying that somewhere buried in this relationship is a third party situation. Two of Cups is the outcome for the two of you. Wheel of Fortune. So what I'm seeing here is that you choose each other. You don't let go of each other. You hold on to each other. Uh, Spirit is not recommending that. Spirit's like, okay, you need to be very strategic in your energy here. But what I'm seeing, Pisces, is as you close out the week, you decide, and your partner decides to continue in your relationship. That doesn't make everything go away, but it looks as, as though your partner wants to know what the heck you're doing when they're not around or what it is that they don't see. Your person really loves you, you love them, but your person is feeling very uncertain about what you could be doing with, uh, you know, with your energy because they do not feel you. That Three of Swords is a card that indicates that they feel it, so you have a third party. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, and thumbs up. Thank you.